I'm LSX TV editor Paul Husinga, and I'm pretty excited about this race engine build that we're doing at Virginia Speed. Now, this is a little different than stuff we've done in the past. We're not just going to be putting together an engine, putting it on a dyno, and showing you some big number. We're actually going to be running it in competition. That's what the car behind me is all about. It's a fourth gen Camaro chassis that's all set up and ready to take the engine. And that's what we're going to be looking forward to in the next few months. As we go through this project, we're going to be working with the Procharger. They're supplying our supercharger for this project. And we're going to be working with FAST and their XFI 2.0, which is the new software update for their proven engine management system. Now, both of these uh, companies have a long history in, uh, in racing and a great track record, so we're going to be able to rely on them for a lot of different uh, help with this project. One of the things that's really cool about what we're doing with this is the fact that Virginia Speed is going to be giving us a behind-the-scenes look at a lot of the tips and tricks that you don't normally get to see in an engine build like this. They're kind of taking the covers off of their skunk works so that we can have an inside look at all the little details that get you one horsepower here, two horsepower there, and help you win races. Well, you're not watching this to see me talk. Let's go over to Sean Miller at Virginia Speed and get a look at this engine. Hi, I'm Sean Miller, engine builder here at Virginia Speed. If you don't know about Virginia Speed, we're a performance retailer in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. We do engine builds, sell parts, performance bolt-ons, just about anything you can think of for a performance or race car. Several months ago, uh, Power TV came to us about building an engine for their PSCA Limited Street car. Uh, it's a 388-inch LSX engine with F1C Pro Charger. The reason we went with the F1C Pro Charger is rules. Basically, that was the biggest Pro Charger we could use. Also, the LSX block was mandated by, we had to use an iron aftermarket block or an OEM aluminum. Some of the design features in the engine is the LSX block, of course. It's a great piece. Made 2,500 horsepower with them in turbocharged application, so we're definitely overbuilt there. Lenati Pro Series crank. I don't need to say much more about that. It's one of the best there is. GRP rods, JE pistons, trip flow heads. We uh, rolled those from 13 and a half degrees to 14 degrees so we could um, fit within the rules of, of one degree within the factory 15 degree valve angle. We got Jessel came on board with their long pivot rocker arms, belt drive, front mount distributor, lifters, and push rods. Uh, Holly high ram intake manifold. It's, it's one of the first ones out there. It was actually designed for an LS3 intake port, but we're running cathedral port heads, so we had to do a lot of work to that thing to get it to work right. It, it's a great piece, though. We, we, it, it really came through nice. I'm really happy with it. Uh, we got the Fast XFI 2.0 system, which is fairly new for them guys, but once again, they outdid themselves. It, it's, it's some of the best stuff out there. Pro Charger intercooler. We had to do some modifications to it to make it work in the car good. But once again, great intercooler, just like everything else Pro Charger has. Basically, we got all these great components in this engine. It's easily able to handle 2,000 plus horsepower. We're only using maybe 12 or 1,300 horsepower, but it, it's, it's way overbuilt, top of the line pieces that you'll find in every high end race car. Stay tuned and check out our other video segments to go a lot more in depth into these components that we just touched on.